I, I've heard donuts generate air pockets in your saliva, and that's what gives you hiccups. What? Calling all units. Calling all units. You're never going to believe this. Stephanie's mother just pressed charges against McNeary over... Oh, sweet cornbread dipped in ranch dressing. Let's turn that up. <laughs> A new drama was brewing back at the office. Calling all units. Sounds like McNeary made a comment about Stephanie's hair. Turns out Stephanie's mother was the hairdresser. Over. Oh, you never talk about a woman's haircut! No, you sure you do not! Confirm it was a long bob. Over. I heard the long bob was a perm. What are you doing, Carl? What is it, Axel? That is gossip, Carl. A what? You know, idle talk, rumor, especially about personal and private affairs of others. The act is known as dishing or tattling. You're right, Axel. Gossip is one of the most toxic things that destroys human relationships. It can be enjoyable in the moment, but then it leaves our own relationships with those we talk to to be shallow. Plus, once gossip gets around, it makes it difficult for the gossiping parties to reconcile. So we better turn that thing off before we hear more. Smart move. Wait, if we turn the radio off, we, how can we hear the calls? And if we can't hear the calls, how are we going to make detective? Well, what do we do, Axel? It's not enough to just ignore gossip. Just hearing it hurts our view of these two. Axel's thinking. Axel's got it. We're going to have to ask the station to stop. Turn that up back on, Carl. Calling all cars. Update suggests it's not McNary. Stephanie's mom's upset with. New report. It's Sergeant Axel. She's really mad at him. She said that he was a big... What are you doing, Carl? Turning off the radio. You don't want to listen to that. But now the gossip's about me. It's not worth it, Axel. Carl, turn it back on right now. I have to hear what they're talking about. Not when it's inadmissible evidence. <laughs> what are you... <laughs> Axel can't take it, Carl! Axel's losing his mind! Keep it together, man! This kind of thing could ruin our chances to make detective. Well, not me. What are you saying, Carl? Axel and Carl are partners. Through and through, we're pals, we're chums. We go to barbecue together and all that kind of stuff. And for the closest of friends, gossip is tearing <laughs> us apart. You're paranoid, Axel! Am I? Am I? Am I? <laughs> I am. I am. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Carl. Gossip's claws got a hold of X. This is more complicated than I thought. The problem with gossip isn't just how one spreads a rumor, it's how we all respond to it. You don't believe what you heard, do you, Carl? There is a greater issue at stake. A greater issue than what we believe to be true? Our integrity. Our integrity is at stake. God calls us to love others as we love ourselves. That love comes with the greatest common factor that we all possess. Hair? Well, no, well, uh, not unless you're bald. But that's not the point. We are all human beings. You're a person. You're created the same as me, and because we can be in relationship, I should give you the same dignity that God gave to me. What's that, Carol? God did not judge from afar. He came to us and dwelled with us. If I have a problem with you, Axel, I need to come to you and work it through. So Stephanie's mom needs to come to me. She may, she may not. With gossip, the story can change. But that is why you should have no ill will towards her until you're able to hear it from her. So right now, my real issue is with the comm operator. So you should go to them. The Bible instructs us that when someone has sinned, especially against us, to go to them. Yeah, it's like when my mom stole my dishwasher. Sure. In Matthew 18, it says we should go to them and point out their fault, but privately. You mean I shouldn't have called out her in front of all those people? It'd just be between the two of you. But Axel's mom doesn't listen. She always is talking about having eyes in the back of her head. Doesn't make sense, Carl. Even if she did, her hair would still be blocking her view. Her logic is just unreasonable as stealing a dishwasher and denying it. So when they will not listen, then you bring someone else into the conversation. But they are not to be used as empathy for how you feel. They are there for wisdom, so that all issues may be addressed. How was I supposed to know that she had called the repairman? There is always more to why there is conflict, and often there are deeper issues that need to surface. Some 
You may even need to own up on your own. Oh, mama. It's okay to process with others, but it can quickly get out of hand. So when we have an issue with someone, I should talk to them. For there might be more that needs to be worked out. And if someone is gossiping to me, I cannot remain silent, for it harms me just listening to it. I need to ask them to stop. But in the same way as Matthew 18. If we could communicate to her now so as not to prolong it. Why can't we just use the comm? Because you threw it out the window, Carl! Oh, oh. quick, Axel! Back to the station! There's no time! We gotta get to my mom's house! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is that my line? I broke the wheel.